today with our team Achilles kid, Kieran. Kieran is 15 years old and he is a running superstar and we are so excited to have you on today. Thank you so much for joining us, Kieran. Are you excited to be here? I'm excited to be here. You're excited and I, this to be here. This is one of it possible without, first of all, Angie and Jay and Karen. Also, my buddy Flash from our team has helped me when we were in person before. And he's even helped me when I nearly felt like giving up after Corona. Wow. I love to hear that. You know, Karen, we talk all the time about how important teamwork is, right? Like, look, we even have our team jerseys on, all three of us. And especially during these difficult times, having a teammate has really been helpful, hasn't it? You Mm -hmm. have virtual buddies, don't you? Yeah. I'd also like to thank Carson, the other Carson, Naomi, get Gabrielle, all for working out with me through last spring. Yeah, you had four a, virtual buddies. Special thank you to Lauren, Courtney, Sarah, and Jordan, especially Jordan. He swooped in and saved the day when I nearly had to race alone. Can you tell us about that race? Because that was a pretty cool race where you had a virtual buddy come in. During the royal race, I ended up having to go save Disneyland from an evil enchantment. And how far did you run for that race? Eight miles. That was my second eight mile run. Eight miles. Oh my gosh. Now, Kieran, this summer, you set a goal, I think of like a hundred and something miles and you crushed it. How many miles did you run this summer? 236 miles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is why he's a superstar. 236 miles. You ran in your apartment in New York City. You ran at camp. You ran virtual races. You did all kinds of races. Tell us, what was your favorite virtual race you did this summer with Team Achilles Kids? One of my, ver- I have th- all three of them, but the one that meant the most to me, not only the Royal Race, but Hope of Possibility. Because guess what? I had to do that race at camp and I nearly felt like I couldn't do it because I was away at camp. I ended up in a three-part half marathon for that race. I literally did two of them on at 6 a.m. And guess what? I literally did the third part, the double length 10K on Sunday night, July 26th at 8 p.m. Wow. So you got up super early and then you stayed up super late to do these races. And I think, Kieran, that's just a really good example of how dedicated you are and how hard you work and also how much you love racing. Now, let's take a step back for a second. Tell me, how long have you been with Team Achilles Kids? Three years. Three years. And what is your favorite part of Team Achilles Kids? I'm just glad to have everyone on my side that I'm making new friends with this team. Yeah. And I couldn't have end all the guys I'm meeting, especially at the fun runs. Totally. Lots of really fun people at the fun run. I think Janet makes it a requirement that you have to be fun to come to the fun run because everybody's so much fun there. Yes, that's awesome. And Karen, you are so involved. You go to the fun run at the JCC, you run in the park, and been doing all of our virtual workouts, our dance parties. You just came from a workout we just did with resistance bands. How was that workout for you? I I honestly think that workout was awesome because – Even though you told me don't use the other three bands, I literally wanted to take it to the max. You well, let me tell everybody what what uh, so what happened is we told everybody to use the lesser band since it was our first time using them. But Kieran used the hardest band for the entire workout because he's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! You really are just phenomenal. Now we put your profile on social media, and we got a lot of people who wanted to know all kinds of things about you. But there's one question in general I know you're going to love. Now, this is from Michael Anderson, the Michael Anderson who runs the City Chapter. Yes, I know you guys 
are great buddies. So I know that because he ran with me after our live workout April 25th during yeah. the, the marathon relay. You did run the marathon relay with him. That was a super fun one. And how many miles did you do for that? I did a 5K. Special shout out to Michael Anderson for including me and Flash in that race. That was awesome. Well, he wants to know, what has been your favorite race, not in a virtual world, when we were running in person, what's your favorite race of all time and why? I have to say, I have two. Italy and Nutella five miler because that was the closest one I ever got to a 10k. Yeah. And also, I have to say the salsa and blues 5k. You picked two of the most fun. Now, I also love the Italy Nutella one, but I love it for a different reason because we got all kinds of free Nutella after that. And that was awesome. But you are just a rock star at our races. And we have another question. I think you're going to like this one, too. This one comes from Janet's mom all the way in Michigan. Can you believe that? She I can't. wants to know, and I love this question, when you get tired, when you're working out, or particularly at a race, if you're running, like when you got up at 6 in the morning and you were running this really long distance, when you get tired, what do you do to keep yourself going and to not give up? I, I just slow down, but I still run. Wow. You know, Kieran, it's actually very deep and something a lot of runners do not do because they feel like they always got to <laughs> run super fast. But sometimes if we slow down a little and catch our breath, we can run even faster. So I'm Yeah, I learned that in February. I know because you're such a good runner. I want you to give me, if you had one piece of advice, because you just gave us one really great piece of advice, but if you had one piece of advice that you could give to runners, what would it be? Here's one piece of advice. When you're running, don't let anything stop you. You must overcome your challenges. Dude, can we fist bump on that right there? Give me a fist yeah, bump. Yeah. You because, are like the yeah. king of overcoming challenges. You did not let anything stop you this summer. You are truly amazing. But we are not done yet because Janet has a super fun little surprise for you. So I'm going to pass it over to Janet. Okay, Dad, take right. it away. Are you ready for this? This is yeah. something that every person who is spotlit in Achilles, you're the first one, but every single Achilles person who gets interviewed is going to have to answer this series of questions. We're going to go super fast. You just have to think whatever comes to your head and say the answer. Don't give it too much thought. Are you ready for this? It's going to call. It's going to be called the Achilles hot seat. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You ready for it? Mm hmm. Okay. What's your favorite color? Red. Dog or cat? Dog. Winter or summer? Summer. If there was a movie about you, who would play you? I would definitely, I would definitely say uh, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. After a race, what's your favorite meal to eat? Ice cream. Uh, my next question was going to be dessert. Would you just have dessert twice? Double yeah. ice cream? What's your favorite thing to eat before a race? I usually don't eat anything before a race. I need my stomach to race. Good tip. Okay, who's your favorite singer or band? Uh, Shakira. Favorite song by Shakira? Waka Waka. I, Ooh, I love that one. I did that before Gridiron Race. Good call. Okay, and last one, it's a little serious. Who is your hero? My hero is Lopez Lamong. He uh, literally escaped from harsh conditions in his home all the way, and he literally took his journey all the way to the 2008 Olympics. That Pretty is a fantastic great. hero. Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun, guys. I want to, like, do that all over again. I love those fast questions like that. Well, Kieran, you are incredible. We cannot say it enough. We're so impressed at how you just keep setting goals and crushing them, and you do not let anything stop you. And I love that that was your bit of advice for runners is not to let anything stop you because you totally embody that. You yeah, because I didn't let hero. that camp situation stop me because guess what? When I raced Sunday night, the whole camp was watching me. Counselors are calling the kids out on their porches. They're saying, come on, everybody. Kieran's racing a six-miler. 
How did that feel? I, I felt great. I was racing with two runners from different worlds. I'd like to give a special shout out to Jesse Nago, Sarah Haberman, and Sarah Cook, all from Summit Camp for racing with me that day. Amazing. You know what else I love about you, Karen? You're so appreciative. Look at you. Thanked everybody. You are just, you are a true gentleman, a fabulous runner, and you are like my favorite superhero. So I think we should end with a team cheer. What do you think? Yes. Boom. We're going to say go Achilles kids on three. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. One. One. Two, two, three, three. Go, go Achilles kids! Yeah. High five, everybody! Awesome! Thanks for joining us. And thank you, Kieran, for being amazing.